All right. <clears throat> so we got a bit of backtrack backtracking to do. So let me look at this um, folder. Okay, so in order, the last the four Digimon that I went with, um, I did Ogudamon, which um, I talked about a little bit, but that was the um, uh, the combination of at least two of the seven Demon Lords. I should go back here. <clears throat> and um, a lot of people seem to get that one, way more than I thought. Um, I guess because a lot of people looked into the seven Demon Lords, but that's pretty cool. Uh, I like the design. Next one was Grademon Black. Now, somebody had an argument with me in one of the comments because nobody got this one. Uh, it's the right mixture of like obscure enough and the fact that it was a color swap. No one got it. Um, someone tried to fight me and said, come on, it's the exact same sprite as the regular version of Grademon. It's like, so is Black Agumon and regular Agumon. Doesn't make, like it doesn't change anything. Uh, you guys have to use your intuition and guess that maybe I'm trying to trick you. So that is my second win, was Grademon Black. Um, if you remember, he was in that episode of Gross Wars. I think he was the last territory that Taiki got. Um, <coughs> <coughs> and the Code Crown turned him from Black Grademon into a regular Grademon. And he was like, oh, we'll help you. Rah, rah, rah. The next one was Suijinmon. Um, someone got that one, I think. Uh, I turned it on side too, just to be a dickhead. Because uh, it looks, because if you, Keep it upright, it gives it away pretty quickly, but putting it on the side, I thought it looked like a weird like mouse monster, so I tried it that way. And finally, part 15, um, it was Coca Buterimon. I hope I said that right. Which looks like what Tentamon should look like. Uh, it's I, That's the reason I picked it, mainly, just because uh, Tentamon doesn't really look that much like the rest of the Kabuterimon line, but Co if, he, if Coca Kabuterimon was the rookie, then it would fit a lot more, but... I still like Tentamon's de uh, design more, so I'm not really, like, I'm not like, oh, they should have used this. I like Tentamon more, so it's fine. Um, so that was all four of the ones from, for the, that I missed. This will be where the new one is. And it's gone. <clears throat> okay, um, so uh, I played a little bit in my own file. I'm not going to go too much into it, but uh, I defeated the first two Demon Lords, and, um, you know... They're tough, but manageable. And uh, I tried getting some of the new Digimon, which, um, if I, if you'll remember, I think I said at the end of part 15, or it might have been 12 when I first heard about it, but seven Digimon were added to the game. Just as it wasn't even DLC, it was just an update. Like, um, and the seven Digimon are the four burst modes. So Ravemon, Rosemon, um, Mirage Galgamon, and uh, Shine Greymon. And there's Valkyrie Mon, which digivolves, is supposed to digivolve from Sylphie Mon. It's supposed to be like the uh, Imperial Jamon version of Sylphie Mon's thing. Uh, but you can also get it through Angel Mon and stuff, so it's not that bad. And then, the, and then there was Dark Jamon, which uh, was a fan favorite, but I, I guess people were upset it's not that strong. Um, and then Chaos Mon, which you'll see, which you can see right there. Um, we'll talk more about them if we get them, but uh, I've, I've had a little bit of experience with them and. They're pretty cool from what I played with so far. <clears throat> All right, this is the right one, right? Okay. <clears throat> so, again, very late. So I'm gonna try and aim to make this one a smaller one. If I recall, um, we finished the story part, and we moved on to um, <clears throat> what do we call it? Uh, we moved on. What, was, what did we last do in the story? Oh. We had that whole fiasco where I, I thought I needed a rookie or a vaccine and I ended up only needing virus types. No cases. That's kind of shocking. Uh, oh, Labyrinthians in Shinjuku, if you got time. So that's it's not a case yet. We're, we're going to go check out the Labyrinth in Shinjuku. I don't remember if I was there already, though. It doesn't sound like me. Again, it was like two weeks ago when I recorded this, so. <clears throat> oh, he hello. Hang on, I'm going to close the window. whole reason I opened it was because it's kind of warm in here, but people are being very loud outside because it's a nice day. Ooh, this place looks nice. Drool. <clears throat> ah, who the hell are you? Huh? 
You want to eat, just come inside, did you say? You don't understand. A lady such as myself can't simply go into a place such as this unaccompanied. By the way, the other day I saw a girl left alone outside this place. She looked so lonely. She was fair-skinned and had black hair. She was looking at the display. Perhaps, perhaps only I saw the girl? <laughs> ah! <clears throat> because she thought she had saw a ghost. So Nick, how's the new body? Have you broken in yet? Kyoko, it's been like six chapters. Like, I'm gonna think about it. I think it's been about... So we've got the body in part two. It's been 13 parts, Kyoko. And you're just now asking me this? While you were out having fun, we got another request for the cyber sleuth. It's quite a big, complex case. Once you get back in the office, you can find the case on the whiteboard. All right, well, we'll deal with that later. <clears throat> get something caught in my throat. Okay. <clears> Let's <throat> so go to Shinjuku. Um, if they said the Shinjuku one opened up, does that... I forget. I always think that that car's going to come here, but like I said, it's a trick of the design. They never pass here. Um, <clears throat> does that mean the Shinjuku subway opened up again? Because we've been there already. Oh, here we go. Oh, I think I remember this one, actually. This is kind of neat. Um... Feels like something's out to kill. What is this chill I fear? Feel fear, damn it. <clears throat> A case came in from Detective Matayoshi. Hurry up and come. What? You felt something ominous in the air just now? Since when have you been so superstitious? It's probably nothing. Just get back here so we can get to work already. Kyoko, the most superstitious superspicious sus I'm sorry that I can't speak properly. I really didn't mean it for you guys to have to go through this. Kyoko might be the most superstitious person in this fucking game, and she's telling me don't worry about it. <clears throat> I should see if there's a new case to investigate. <clears throat> Alright, throat, let's do this. I know we haven't talked in like two weeks, but we should be able to get through one fucking video. Uh, so we have unlocked two cases so far. Um, the one from Gluttonous Lady, the one from just now. Um, <clears throat> and I don't <laughs> I can't just pretend I'm not doing that. I'm sorry. Um, I think those are the only ones we've unlocked. Chapter 7. I feel like I'm going to do this like a hundred thousand times, but I have to double check just in case. Um, have we gotten Victor Yoshida yet? I believe in Chapter 7 he's in... Um, Kowloon level 4, so I think we got him already. Just to double check. Locations. Yep, Kowloon level 4. Okay. And chapter 8 is going to be in the lobby of the Tokyo building. I'm not going to remember that. I'm going to have to look it up anyway, but you know. It's fun to learn ahead of time. <clears throat> Alright, so we go through here. Um, I don't know which case I want to do yet. I guess I'll go based on the rewards. Uh, but yeah, so since those Digimon were added, um, I can get them in this file, theoretically. I think I probably should just to show them off, because I'm sure by now most people have beaten the game and aren't really playing anymore. Broadway Food Tour. Bank Expansion Drive. I need an undercover eater for food reviews, and I need someone to help me investigate something. Meh. An invisible slasher is rampant in Shinjuku. Catch the culprit before something serious happens. Please help. They both give Bank Expansion Drive. This is bullshit. Uh, <clears throat> let's do this one. <clears throat> I know the other one, it's a lot of text, which my, my throat in this current state is not really great for. There's been a string of some real oddball incidents lately out in Shijuku. Cars, trees, buildings, spear, they're all getting sliced out with clean cuts, too, so I'm a sharp knife to them. Thankfully, nobody's gotten hurt this for right now, it's just a vandalism. Blah, blah, blah. Heavy duty stuff damage here, and so people start getting targeted, that's just be a real problem. As long as we don't know who's behind the camera, the police can hardly be able to get their authorized. Like, this will help us, it'll, it'll last as I see this is going, alright, we'll check it out for you. I've hacked in, I mean, I've politely borrowed access to security camera and so we can check out what's been recording. I don't see anything, and I damn well don't hear anything right now either. Doesn't look like I can find any of the actual crime scenes that I wager. You've already checked it out, so I'm not sure there's nothing else around there, huh? I just found that we my trust system for a little while. Let's take a look. <clears throat> hey, that's me. Oh, look, a white flash. Wait, what was that flash of light just now? We might have a real live. Kamai... K 
Kama Itachi. <clears throat> On our hands here. You've probably heard about them before from folk tales, right? Kama Itachi are weasel spirits with claws as sharp as... Alright. <clears throat> I heard weasel spirit and I heard claw. Right now my guess is Repamon. Or... I don't remember what it's called in Japanese. I know, um... It's not whatever the fuck they call it. They fucked with, um... I can't... Kudamon's name. Or Kudamon's, like, the names of all of his, uh... Digimon. They really fucked with this line. In, uh... <clears throat> in English. None of them match up to what they are in Japanese. To hear the stories tell they attack people by appearing inside a sudden whirlwind, cutting their victim's skin sharply in its wake. What probably really happens when people's skin gets really dry, it can get cut by small rocks blowing in the wind, or so we thought. Look at this footage, I think it's safe to say there's no ordinary gust of wind. Knowing that, we could be an actual Kamaitachi on the loose in Shijuku Herm. Putting fairy tales aside for the moment, fucking thank you, Matayoshi. What we do know is that the light reflected off something. Maybe the wind somehow or a blade, but maybe something else entirely. Who knows? But the light definitely skimmed really close to your head there in the footage. If you hadn't felt anything ominous back there, we might have seen your head pop off your shoulders. Eh, better stay sharp. You can only stay lucky for so long, you know. You really lays fair about me almost dying, Kyoko. <clears throat> Head back and investigate. Got it. Uh, Digimon. I heard there's a Digimon movie playing in Eden. That pique your interest? Is it Digimon Try? Episode 2, Determination, Ketsui? Starring Rosemon and Vikemon? Really? I had no idea what's going on. Yeah, so I guess I've had a lot of stuff happen um, that I could talk about. I hate this game sometimes, though, because when I'm running around, I can talk about it. And when I'm, like, in battles and stuff, like in a Digimon area, I can do it. But when I'm going through a bunch of places with a bunch of text, I can't really get into anything, because then I gotta start reading. Um, but I did a very... I did a shitty discussion video. I wish I could have done more, but I wasn't... Um, I wasn't able to record something. I think what I might do... I don't know. People might not care at this point, but I could re-upload a different video with me actually... Because I wrote a really long text post in the comments of it. Um, but if people want, I can, like, actually add my voice. Just, like, read it out loud with my voice. And, um, you know, put images from the movie and stuff in it. But I think the time has probably passed. It's, like, two weeks old now. <clears throat> There's a thin line coursing through here that looks like a burn mark. Wait, a burn mark? <clears throat> you found a burnt spot, you say. Hmm, anything else of note you found there? What's wrong? Does something feel off again? A flash of sunlight reflected off a window and blinded you? Hmm. Huh, looks like you froze, Kyo, for the time being. Oh, wait, there she goes. She's moving again. Guess she's looking something up. Haha, <laughs> once she's like this, she's lost in her own world. No point trying to talk with her. Looks like she'll be at it for a while. <clears throat> I hate ordering you around since you don't work for me. Would you mind looking around for more clues for us? Matayoshi, I gotta be honest... I didn't like you at first, but you've really grown on me. Feel free to order me around anytime. You're a lot easier to deal with than Kyoko sometimes. I've had a lot of reports about this phenomenon coming to the police department, so there could be definitely something left to find. Alright. Wow, that spot that I was in before. Exactly. I wonder if there's anything here. <clears throat> Guys, do you, do you know where I should look? I can't... I don't know where. It's, isn't it the life plan building? Is this... Is this an abortion clinic? No. What the hell is Kenny Poob dress? I'm just gonna look at this, these shops now. Ox Sports Shop. That that could be real, but I feel like if I was gonna name a fake sports shop, I would use Ox. So I don't know. Duty Free. Eh. Siza Nichi Yoin. I don't know what that's supposed to mean. And then over there, Mun Mun Ice. <laughs> I like to think is much, much nice. Then there's a suit shop. Game rental, disc rental, kimono. Mimashita DVD rental. DVD? What year is this? Arm 2, okay. Um, and then Cap Dog, of course. Cap Dog, Cap Dog. Alone in the world, little Cap Dog. Right on the. Okay. Cap. <clears throat> Let's just. There's another one of those burn marks on the sidewalk here. <clears throat> Feel it, that murderous intent again. It's that chill, the same one as before, that ominous feeling, it's back. Man, so fucking glad they gave me dialogue options for this. Are we playing Dance Dance Revolution now? 
<laughs> Is that the best you've got? You're too slow. The jig's up. I know your trick now. Just like, I, I would love it if after he said that, just head gets fucking blown off. And then you have to play as like the next protagonist. So if you picked male, you have to play as female. And if you pick female, you have to play as male. It's like, yeah, your brother died. He was a dickhead. Hey, it's me. I figured out what's going on. Culprit, whoever they are, is using reflections to their advantage. Have you ever heard of the Walkie Talkie building? The super tall skyscraper in London that was at the center of a really bizarre incident. Basically, there were cars parked nearby and mysteriously had parts of them melted and warped. The cause of it was the building's windows. How? That's not mysterious at all. Like, that should have been super fucking obvious. Didn't that happen to a building in Vegas? Where, like, for 30 minutes a day it would create a fucking laser beam? The cause of it was the building's windows. The panes were instilled in such a way that reflected a sunbeam potent enough to damage the cars. This instance, though, we're not dealing with sun rays. Thanks for bringing it up, then. Judging from the flash of light, those burn marks you found are probably dealing with lasers here. This isn't your ordinary laser pointer we're talking about. Only weapons-grade lasers could develop, leave such deep burns. The question is, how has someone managed to set them off all around Sinjuku and fire them without people spotting them? As many big power surge in the area, could there be batteries? No, wait. Digital wave readings are fluctuating weirdly. Don't tell me they're using digital waves as a substitute for microwaves and an impromptu maser. Holy fuck, we don't need to go this in-depth in the game. God fucking damn it. This is way too much exposition. If that's the case, then. Hey, think you can trust my deductions and your good luck to pull us through? Oh, I remember what we have to do now. <clears throat> it's actually pretty cool. Of course. Like, I never doubt your ju judgment. <laughs> Let's just hurry up and do something. I like that attitude. Then here's the deal. The culprit is aiming that laser at you using every reflective surface in, the surface in the area. We're going to use that to our advantage. The fact that a laser is bouncing around towards you means we can trace it back to its origin point. Did you do that? <laughs> I love the duck. To do that, you need to get in the line of fire, but you have to time it well or else you'll get a hole burnt right through your skull. Do what you... Why don't I just use my goggles to protect me? Ah! As soon as that laser's got got you, I want you to connect jump into it and dive inside. If you, my thing is correct, the laser is actually a type of digital wave. This, if it is, the instant that beam of light hits something, it forms a connection with the origin point and establishes a phone network of sorts. That's what should make it possible for you to connect jump into it. <sighs> I know it sounds crazy, but you're easily the luckiest person I've ever known. You can do it, trust yourself, and tackle this head on. Contrary, if anyone can do this, it's you. So we're connect jumping into a fucking laser beam. <clears throat> That's pretty cool. Didn't need the fucking hundreds of years of explanation. Greymon in the farm is at max level. Duly noted. <clears throat> Alright. We gotta search for items now. Oh man, I see the good news is I'm in an area where I can um, where I can use Digimon, so I might be able to get a thumbnail. But last time I used a thumbnail in this area, I did it with Hagrumon and didn't really seem that good. Alright, um... Dragon Impulse... Saying, I gotta, fuck, I don't remember how to play this game all over again. Right now, Rex is in... Rex is definitely the strongest, but... His biggest downfall is that he has low, low MP. Uh, or SP, whatever the fuck I'm gonna call it. Um, so I gotta change that, if I can. So for now, I can only use like the basic skills. He doesn't even have enough to do two great tornadoes, which is kind of rough. There it is. Victory pose. Alright. Really need to level him up more. Oh, you know what I can do? I can absolutely do this right now. Uh, we'll pop Farmer John in for a little bit. <clears throat> I don't need that much going on. If I had another uh, Platinum Sukumon, I would use it. I do have one, actually. It's in the farm, I think. Uh, but I can easily beat these random enemies, just one or two. Ooh, cool, Bergemon. They actually did Bergemon's model pretty good justice here. Um, I don't know. I think... Because I think Marimon could have been done a little bit better. Regular attack. Do it! Yeah. Um, but I don't know. Overall, looks pretty good. Double XP is really not that much when they're giving pretty shitty XP. Um, nothing over there. Nothing over here. Oh, cool. <clears throat> um, so I can talk about this now. I inst I forgot my Vita here over uh, spring break, which was a terrible decision. Uh, rookie mistake, as Carlos called it. But um, So I worked six nights over my like 10-day break, if that. That's including the night I got home and just kind of like crashed immediately. 
Um, and so instead, I was like, all right, well, I guess I'll just watch anime. So I started and finished Blue Exorcist, um, which is pretty cool. Um, I like the concept. Um, apparently the manga is still going. It's like one of those monthly ones, though. Oh, shit. We'll talk to him in a second. Uh, apparently it's one of those monthly ones, which I think monthly releases for any manga is fucking stupid. Or manga. I, I say manga. I'm from America. Um, but I think monthly releases are fucking stupid because by the time it comes out, nobody remembers what happened in the last chapter. And they spend the first 15 out of 30 pages re recapping what happened in the last one. Um, so I don't like that very much, but... So I'm not gonna... I don't intend to follow up on the manga, but apparently it goes more in depth. Show is okay. I think I had a couple problems with it, but I wouldn't say I regret watching it. I think the beginning started off way stronger than the end, though. Uh, nothing here, really. Um, oh, cool. Um, what else? Oh, and I watched 65 episodes of Yu-Gi-Oh! 5Ds. So I'm like a little less than a third of the way through because it's got like 220 episodes. Uh, it's good so far. I like it a lot more than the original Yu-Gi-Oh! Like, if you haven't watched it, I'd highly recommend it. I'm watching it um, on Crunchyroll. So I'm watching it with Japanese, um, with um, English subtitles. And I gotta say, without four kids butchering it, it's a dark fucking show. Like, I've watched a dude get hung. I watched another person get brutally fucking murdered by falling to their death uh, without giving huge spoilers. Um... Like, of course, after, like, 30 episodes, it all resolves itself, but it's like, god damn, that was fucking brutal to watch. Um, I like it, though. Uh, I don't, my one fault problem with it, like, I think plot-wise, it's better than the, other, the first two series of Yu-Gi-Oh! Just because, I think, I like GX a lot. Uh, my favorite part of GX was the cards. I really liked the designs of most of the decks in GX. And obviously, I liked the designs in the original. That's where I think 5Ds falls a little short. Uh, just just like the types of decks that the different people use, I'm just not a huge fan of. Like you say, the main character uses a junk deck and he's got like, uh, kind of like robotic like warriors and stuff like that, but they're like, not even that. Just, I don't know, they look kind of bland to me. It's just, I'm not a huge fan. Stardust Dragon's pretty cool though. Um, and the, all the dragons are pretty decent in that, but... <clears throat> I don't know, just like, they're not really... I'm not like as excited as I was in GX when like when um, Judai or Jaden would use like a new hero. I'd be like, that's so fucking cool. But in this one, I'm kind of like, oh, cool, a new card. Um, so I don't know. It seems like a downfall, but not a not a bad one because I'm pretty much watching it for um, the plot. I w the main character and the main at well, the kind of you say is like the Yugi of the series. And then Jack Atlas, which, amazing name, um, is like the Kaiba, but he's not as, he, like, he's a skeptic, but he's not nearly as fucking bad as Kaiba. Like, Kaiba would, like, see something happen in front of him and be like, it's not real. I don't believe any of this mumbo jumbo. It's like, Kaiba, what the fuck are you talking about? You just watched someone get mind controlled. Uh, and he'd be like, no, and I fucking hate Yugi. Whereas Jack is like, that didn't fucking happen. And they explain it to him. He's like, ugh. Fine. How do we fix this? And then it's like, wait, what? Did you did you accept that? Kaiba never did that. Uh, so yeah, I think I like the characters in GX a or not GX. I think I like the characters in Five Ds a lot. Um, it's good all around, and because the whole reason I'm watching it is because um, people recommended that I watch Zexel and Arc V, which don't fucking suggest it because I'm gonna watch them anyway. Just I want to get through Five Ds first because uh, I am a huge Yu-Gi-Oh fan. And um, this this is all sparks because I, I ran through and marathoned um, Yu-Gi-Oh! Abridged, which led to when I visited Spencer over break, um, we were, we didn't really have a game to play, so I just loaded up my account and we played um, the Yu-Gi-Oh! game. Like we went from the start to I think we got to the rare hunter maybe the the Exodia deck. I think we got up to him. I don't. Yeah, I don't think we ever fought him, but we were, like, taking turns. Like, we were using the decks that they had, so... Um, if we lost, we would just hand the controller over. But uh, we, what we would do is, every time we were about to face someone, we would throw on an episode of Yu-Gi-Oh! Abridged. And, um... We would, 
And we would have to, um, the only way we could watch the next episode is if we beat the duel we were in. I thought it was pretty funny. Uh, I think, okay, so I think Tagmon is a data type. Uh, so I'm gonna, he might be virus, but I'm pretty sure he's data. So if I have a data and then a virus, I should be able to beat him with these two. Um, <clears throat> all right. Who are you? How'd you find me here? Are you some army goon trying to take me back? You're not with the army? Well, I'm an optical weapon Digimon that broke out of a certain country's military. I was developed and trained to be a weapon capable of attacking the real world directly from cyberspace. But I hated it. I hated being worthless to them for any purpose aside from that. And I hate anybody in the army who tries to treat me like a weapon, so I ran away. <coughs> Ooh, that really hurts my throat. You're wondering why I was attacking the city? But I was just practicing my techniques over the network to find something else I could do. That's all. Ah, so my lasers were shooting out into the real world without me even realizing it? Sorry about that. Ha ha ha. Try all I might, no matter how much I run away, I really am just a mean old weapon in the end. I'm wrong, because if I was a real weapon, there would have been casualties. Heh, <laughs> you're really something. Hey, are you okay? You look alright. I'm so relieved to see you again. If something had happened to you, it would have made me look like a really terrible as a detective. So I'm really glad to see you're okay. Detective? I knew it. You lied to me. You really are just a government dog. I'll make you pay for this, you two-faced scumbag. If you're so desperate to make me a weapon again, then I'll give you what you want and then some. Take this. I thought I did a pretty good accent there. I got Tank Mod as the uh, boss, and I already have like 120% scan data for him. Like, I don't know if this was supposed to be his first appearance. I'm gonna go acceleration boost on Mega Dramon. Um, and then, uh, I want to, but I'm just going to leave it up to Mega Jamon on this one. And then Metal Siege Mon, you can probably do something. I don't know what, I don't remember what, uh, or Mega Siege Mon, I don't remember what their moves are. Mirror Reflection, nah, that's not going to really help. Hydro Bubble, maybe. Um, Lightning Javelin, whatever, let's try something. Again. I'm not going to bother with the status effects because they rarely work, so. Immobilized by recoil? What? Why? Did he attack someone? Oh, he must have attacked uh, Mega Seijimon. I wasn't paying attention. Um, that's another attack boost. This could theoretically kill him in one shot, but I don't see that happening. Do it. Genocide attack. No. Yeah. As suspected. Tank Mon's pretty fucking thick. It's got that heavy armor. Um, oh, this is a movie does. So he does hyper cannon, which does big quote unquote damage, and then um, he has to uh, recharge after. I know Diaboramon's uh, special attack is like that too, where it does big damage, but then he has to recoil, kind of like Hyper Beam and in, um, in nothing, because the, the no game has Hyper Beam. I don't know what I'm talking about. <clears throat> Doesn't exist. Um, so yeah, I watched 5Ds, really into that, I want to keep watching it. I just finished the first arc, I guess, the whole Dark Signers thing, so I like, that's exactly where I left off. Um, again, I'm, ex I'm excited. Um, and then I'll move on to Zexel, and then I'll move on to Arc V, and then I'll understand all the cards that I'm using. And I pretty much know most of the cards from 5Ds anyway, just because, um... I used to play Yu-Gi-Oh! Online, which was the just like online game. You had to pay real money for your cards, um, and I must have spent hundreds. And uh, which, looking back on, make me fucking cringe. But I'll just use Lightning Javelin. It's not. It's, it's the stronger attack. I don't know why I wasn't using that. Um, but yeah, I had a lot of fun. But they ended up closing it down because Konami's a piece of shit. But um, nice. But um, I learned about, that was before Zexel came out, so everyone was using synchro cards and stuff like that, so I really, I learned how to use them and like what they were back then. I still prefer uh, E-Heroes, they're my favorite cards to use, just because I like being able to get out of any situation, but um, it's pretty, I don't know, 
Five Ds is all right. Like card wise, anime wise, it's pretty good. That that's enough. I get it. I'm nothing more than a weapon to be fired off. I know that after fighting you now. But if that's the life I have to lead, then I wish I'd never been created. Holy shit, that's it? That's depressing as shit. So it was a program for Digimon made by a foreign military, huh? Foreign military, yes, because if you specified, then you'd get in trouble. Sorry I interrupted your conversation then. Guess I gummed up the works real bad when you won them over. Hmm. Still, at least it put a stop to things, even though it ended poorly. It really did. Now it's become a serious situation. I mean, not only did you find a top secret military weapon, you are also well destroyed it. If we're not careful here, this could turn into an international edition incident that even threatens our security treaty with that country. That country. Again, no specifics. Just when Japan front. God damn, I just realized. It's probably. They probably are trying to hint that it's America. Just when Japan finally got them to move their bases to, that still could vanish in the thin air because of this. Oh, but don't think any of this is your fault, even if, it, even if it were to lead to World War III taking place. No, Trump's not in office yet. You shouldn't feel guilty. Political! Ha ha ha. Oh, Kyo. If I didn't know you better, I'd think you're actually being serious. Hee <laughs> hee, but I really am. When, I, when am I not? Anyway, Lady Luck must have really taken a shine to you. To tell you the truth, there actually could have been one thing that flashlight could have been. See, if it hadn't been a normal maser, but instead of pho phonon maser, I think they meant to write photon, but I'm not sure. You uh, wouldn't be standing here talking to us right now. I detected fluctuations in the digital waves, which made me immediately determine that you were functioning as a maser substitute, or that they were functioning. However, there is also a possibility that instead of microwaves being substituted, blah, 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 rather than rely on, blah, 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 you've been facing a. Blah, blah, blah. Now, do you get how lucky you are? Yes, you did some great work out there today, kiddo. That's what youth is for in the first place. So keep it up. Mario, she seems like he'd laugh like that. Okay, oh, cool, we got messages. Quiz time. Which Swift Royal Knight Digimon dons blue digitized, digitized armor? Well, Magnemon is blue, but he dons yellow armor, or gold. Xmon is all red, and all four is Vigimon. Alright. Close the book. Sleuth rank up. Hello. Yippee. I agree with what Detective Money Yoshi said, so it's back to work for you, kiddo. Your next task awaits you. Oh, if I can help it, I really want to avoid the next one, just because um, it's all talking. There's no Digimon fighting in the next case. Um, and I'm sure there's comedy and whatnot, but it's more of like one of those cases you do that you enjoy like when you play on your own. Not really fun to watch a second time. Uh, what? When do you level up? Oh, shit. Wait, no. I'm going for Black or Greymon. That would have been bad if I just was like, Oh, oh, oh got it, Machine Dramon. <laughs> um, <clears throat> you can turn into Edamon again. The reason I keep doing this is because I keep wanting him to uh, uh, turn into Platinum Sukumon. Or Platinum Numemon. But I keep like pulling him out before he hits level 65. Um... VVV, you can't turn into any of these, I don't think. Oh no, you can get this one eventually. Uh, is that Ravemon? I don't know if the old Force of Egemon can turn into Ravemon. That seems weird. Speed is 160. Yeah, he'll get there. Okay. And no Waymon. Defense is 120 for both of those. And then that top one, not even close. Um, yeah, defense will get there. And then Rex. Nothing. We'll get to you way later on. Cogsworth. Can did you all now? I don't remember who I was going for, though. Was I trying to go for uh, Black Garumon? That seems like me. Um, I legitimately can't figure out who this Digimon is. You see. So that's where Garumon, I guess. That's Leomon. Oh, I remember now. I think I wanted him to become a... Um, I wanted him to become a Banjo Leomon. <clears throat> Let's throw him in with one of these. I don't know who. Um, shit. Let's. Where is he? Let's turn you back. <laughs> Immediately back into a Platinum Sukumon. Um, and then move you for you. And that should be fine for now. Until I get more memory ups. Unless I have one in my inventory I haven't used because I'm a fucking idiot. 
who was max level? Was it? It was Greymon. Okay. Nope. Hang on. Greymon. I got a Digivolve you. Let's turn into Toyogmon this time. Feeling different. And then Bergemon's probably at max level. Nope. I'll leave you then. Um, yeah, I think everyone's okay. Alright. Um, Alright, so this is at 35 minutes, but once again, I really want to get this part up. So, a little on the short side, but um, I don't know. I still have to record like five videos this week. I'll tell you the real reason this video is late, and this will make the video a little longer. Uh, it was late because I'm falling behind in one of my classes. Um, what happened is, this is the first semester where I have two classes back to back. I was always smart about it, where I would space it out so I always had at least an hour and a half between classes so I could do all my homework for that class. The class I have is astronomy, and I have a class right before it, so I'm having trouble getting into the routine of doing homework for two classes before said class. And um, I'm starting, like, I'm missing assignments and stuff, and it's actually, um, not to brag, but ever since I got into Big Boy College, um, which has been, this is my fifth semester, I've gotten Dean's List every time, but it's really looking like I, I would get below a B in this class if I don't like shape up. So um, I was stu I took some time to study, which is why I'm recording this a little late. Um, so five videos might not, five to six videos might not be sustainable anymore, especially since grades should come first. So I'll keep you updated on that. For now, I'm gonna keep doing it, but I'm just trying to balance it a little bit more. Um, but yeah, I still have to record Kingdom Hearts for tomorrow. <laughs> I still have to record a video for Thursday. I have to do another Digimon for Friday. And then stream on Saturday. Okay. Just thinking out loud. But that's it. Um, actually, before I start, <laughs> before I stop, I wanted to put this in a video. And I couldn't figure out where to put it. So, <laughs> I'm going to read to you a post I made that is mostly true. Um... Just let me read this out loud. Let me find. Let me find it. Let me find it. Here we go. <clears throat> let me just dictate this. I wrote this March nineteenth, so I wrote this a couple days ago. I think my mind might be breaking down. Before I left for break last Thursday, I threw away some food that was going to spoil in my fridge. I grabbed a bag of apples with three left and ate them as I packed my stuff. Except I was full before I could finished the last one, so I left it in the bag. My dad came to help me carry some stuff. I offered it to him, and he said no, so I just left it on the counter. As we were almost off campus, I realized I left my work uniform behind, so we turn around, and I run back up to my apartment. I see this lone apple and take it with me. Who knows? I might get hungry on the way home. I didn't end up, I didn't end up eating it. I had dinner at my dad's apartment, then left with his car, which I was borrowing for the week. As I put my seatbelt on, I look down and see the apple and say out loud, Oh, you're still here. Then shook my head, realizing I was talking to a piece of fruit. The next day, I did some errands and continued to leave the apple in its spot. I went to work overnight. In the morning, my relief was late, so I was a little upset. I got into my car and said, Can you believe this shit, Apple? Without thinking of it, anything of it, I now realized I have named the apple Apple, which probably wasn't very sane. That was a week ago today. For the past seven days, every time I got in my car, I would make comments to Apple about my day. Today, it dawned on me that Apple is now about three weeks old. He's still in top physical shape for a Macintosh of his size, but I have come to the conclusion that this will not end well. I don't really know what to do here. Do I eat him? My best friend this past week? Do I throw him in the woods where I won't have to watch him suffer? Do I keep him and stay by his side as he rots from the inside out? Will I ever be the same once Apple is gone from my life? Do I have deep underlying issues here? I don't know, but I know that soon I'll be very sad. And then Carlos commented on said post, You gotta take the seeds and plant him. Which might have been my favorite suggestion. That is a real thing. I have a bag with an apple in it. I don't know what to do because I bonded with this apple. Like I'm, a, and it's too old to eat, and it's gonna start rotting soon. And I don't really know how to deal with it. Uh, so I just want you to know that uh, I'm slowly losing my mind, and you should be aware that it may be reflected in future videos. Other than that, that's the end of this video. <laughs> um, tune in for the next one. Till next time, guys.